Hi everyone, Josh from DroneSense here, and I am incredibly excited to share a new update that we're gonna be rolling out to the mobile application over the next couple weeks, starting on the iOS side, and then working over to the Android side a few weeks beyond that. So you can see I'm in the mobile application. I'm gonna select my profile. I'm gonna put in my PIN number, and now you see I've landed at this brand new mission selection page. And I'm really excited to show you some of the workflows and functionality that lives here. So there at the top of the screen, we get a very basic weather report giving us an idea about weather conditions in our immediate area. Uh, partly cloudy, temperature, zero degree wind coming out of the east right now. There on the bottom of the screen, we have the ability to instantly join whatever our past mission was. And whether we were using MSAT, whether we were flying a drone, does not care. It's going to allow us to jump right back into what we were doing on our prior operation. If I come into this fly mission section, this is going to allow us to select a mission that is not a training mission. So these are operations, these are call outs, these are deployments that we're actually using uh, for a, a true response. So on the left hand side, you see our list of missions, the same functionality and capability of adding a mission by code. On the right hand side of the screen, we get a little bit of information about the mission, as well as the ability to change our call sign and add a COA to this flight. If I go back, I can jump into our flight training mission, which is gonna allow us to select from the training missions that we've created. So if we're tracking training on the DroneSense platform, this is where we're gonna be utilizing those flights. So you can see the list of all my training flights, as well as that same functionality allowing us to add a mission with code. The right hand side is going to give us that mission information and also again the ability to change our call sign and the ability to add a COA to this flight. I'm going to back out here one more time and right over there to the right you'll see this brand new area that says remote operation mode and right now this is grayed out. I am not going to jump into this area. There's not much that I can tell you about remote operation mode right now. I would just ask that you pay very close attention to DroneSense social media over the next few weeks as we're gonna be making some pretty monumental announcements in the near future. But just below that, you see streaming and tracking. And this is our MSAT functionality, or mobile streaming and tracking. So by selecting streaming and tracking, you see I get that same mission list as well as the ability to add a mission with code, the mission information where I can change my call sign, but then also the ability to change my device type and also the ability to toggle on or off the camera functionality to provide Ops Hub with just location information. Our designers and developers have spent several months perfecting this new mission selection page. I think it is a lot more intuitive than prior versions and we're only going to get better. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, please reach out to us. You can reach me directly at joshua at dronesense.com you could leave a comment on this video, or you can reach out to other DroneSense contacts that you may have. Thank you so much for your time today. Stay safe.